Bridget with Life on Spectrum. And for this episode, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about comics and anime. Just so you know, it's an extremely high percentage of people on the spectrum that love comics and an um, anime. There's good things about it and there's bad things about it, but I just want you to realize a few basic facts about it. First off, I've all been an educator and most of you know that by now. I always say that whatever students want to read, as long as they're reading, it's okay. So please keep that in mind. If comic books is their way that they're actually picking up something and reading it on their own, please, by all means, do that. And especially nowadays, anime and comic books are rated just like movies are. If, uh, if you look on the back of an anime or a comic book, they will actually be rated like teen or M for mature and things like that. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of safe ones out there. Also, comic books and anime are usually really well received by people on the spectrum because they actually tell you what they're feeling. Think about it. Even back in the Batman days, pow, wow, it actually gave an expression to what they were feeling at the time. And that actually helps them with some of their emotional regulations within their bodies. They actually feel like, okay, if that person's being hit, I should say pow, or I should say wow. And you get the gist. A lot of times that, that animation or the picture actually helps. Remember, visualizations are a key. It will help with their reading comprehension if they have a picture to go along with it. And like I said, comic books, it's the thing now. Same with anime. It's around the world and people are starting to watch it even on TV and you know, with manga and everything else. So keep that in mind that comics can be a good thing for our students. It can actually have them uh, have a group to actually hang out with. Comic book stores, just think about it. <laughs> a lot of our students will hang out there, but it gives them social opportunities. And next time, I'll, I'll, hopefully I'll see you at Comic-Con. And this is Bridget with Life on Spectrum. Thanks for watching that episode. And make sure you come back and join us again for upcoming videos. They'll be uploaded almost on a daily basis. Also, if you really enjoyed us, like us below, or even make leave a comment for us to respond back to. And if for, if for all of you that are really involved in the Life on Spectrum, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We appreciate you. We hope that this is worthwhile for you. And we'll see you next time on Life on Spectrum.